Hi, I'm Mr. Buckingham, and this video is on ecology. So uh, before we start, ecology, the definition, if we split the prefix and suffix, so eco in Greek means house, and ology in Greek means study of, or Latin, rather. Uh, so if we put those together, that would be study of our earth. And we like to organize how we uh, talk about different systems of uh, ecology and of our earth. So we use this mnemonic device called Bebekbo, and we'll get to each type of organization. So the first one, which is going to be the smallest one, is going to be an organism. So that's going to be a single individual. And that single individual is going to have a certain role in its ecosystem. And that we call the niche. So a niche is going to be the role uh, an organism has in its environment or ecosystem. And there are two different types of niches. One is going to be called the fundamental niche, and the other one is going to be the realized. Fundamental just means that it's the full capability of what the animal could have in its niche. So let's say that this um, elk up here, it's able to forage in the, uh, the woods. It's able to um, graze in open, open fields. But, so, so that would be its fundamental. But however, there's competition. And what competition does is it will eliminate the fundamental part of uh, its niche and it will become its realized niche. So let's say there's another species of elk that comes in and it competes for woody type grazing or it inhabits that woody area. So then those woods are no longer available to this, this type of elk and so it's only going to graze in open fields. So if we have multiple individuals, we call that a population of the same species. Oops. And populations can have a lot of members in it. Um, so like bacteria populations will have thousands and thousands. Or it could have a small population like this one. It could be have uh, 10 to 20 uh, in its population. And they're going to be isolated from other populations in the area. A community is going to uh, include multiple different species, and they usually interact with each other. So an elk and a wolf, and so that's going to be a, a really obvious predator-prey type situation. Um, so as the wolf population goes up, usually its prey population will go down, and this is just the elk, and that has been seen in Yellowstone. And the ecosystem is everything we've talked about, plus it includes uh, the non-living parts. So we have these super happy bison uh, grazing along the river, and the river, the water, is going to be a non-living part. So it's uh, going to include, or it's going to be included when we talk about the ecosystem. So uh, if there's a little bit of water, then that ecosystem is going to be very different as opposed to here in the Northwest. We have a lot of water, so that definitely influences our ecosystem and what animals uh, we animals and plants that we see here. And then biomes. So there are multiple different types of biomes, and the terrestrial ones um, kind of follow this latitude line across the entire Earth. So the first one is deserts, and we have some deserts in the U.S. There are deserts in Asia. Uh, deserts in Africa as well. And we have uh, grasslands, and so those are going to be um, just a little tiny grass and um, a lot of grazing type of animals. And tundra, which is going to be up in northern or very uh, southern regions of the earth, and it's usually going to have snow on it all the time. And uh, this is the um, uh, deciduous forests. And we have a, a large deciduous forest on the eastern coast. And here we have the um, coniferous forests, sorry. And those are going to be uh, indicative of really wet conditions and pretty cold in the winter. And then lastly, 
uh, we have tropical areas and so that's going to be pretty warm weather and uh, a lot of precipitation per year. So uh, water biomes, um, there are different types, so aquatic versus marine. Aquatic is going to be fresh water and marine is going to be uh, salt water. So this uh, picture here is going to be of a freshwater type of biome. And those could include in it, these are not biomes, but what could be included in the biome are going to be lakes, streams, uh, rivers. And in the marine uh, areas, it's going to be open ocean and intertidal areas. So if you see those um, uh, uh, little creatures in tidal areas, if you lift over rocks, that's going to be those intertidal areas. And uh, coral reefs is a good example Oops. of a um, type of marine biome. And then finally the biosphere. The biosphere uh, the difference between biome and biosphere is that it includes everything and the uh, atmosphere. So how does the atmosphere uh, influence what's going on in the certain biomes? So again, this mnemonic device, Bebekpo, will help you remember the different types of uh, levels of organization. And that's it. Bye.